yo, yo, it's your boy OG Shizzy Brizzle. This is another WTF News on Shizzy Lit Podcast. You understands me? Anyway, yeah, drink champs and shit. One little couple drink champs ago and shit. The nigga Noy and uh, Mickey Fax, EFN and all them. You know what they do. They drink champs. They get drunk. They be joking around and shit. Sometimes they go a little bit too far. You dig? They said the motherfucking Wu affiliates and shit like Killer Army. They ain't really say Killer Army in no negative way, but like, you know the feel me? They definitely said Shaheem. I don't even know how you do that. Like, that's crazy. My man was in movies and all that shit. You know the feel me? Yo did more than a lot of Wu affiliate niggas did. You gonna say your name personally on some flunky shit? That's crazy. And we know yo was thorough and shit. That's why yo ain't always prosper because my man kept going to jail because he was out there really living that street life. So I don't know how you throw my man in the fucking bird. But he said he was joking. You know, they drinking and smoking. You know what I mean? And shit come out. You know the dead. And then once you sober up, you realize like, oh shit. You know feel me? But you know what I mean? Of course, the Wu affiliates ain't like that. So Killer Army, motherfucker, sons of man, Wu Syndicate, Shahi, and a bunch of other guys and shit. You know, feel me from the Wu and shit. You know, feel me? Because I just look at them from the Wu. I don't even call them Wu affiliates. They the Wu. If they accept it by the main, they accept it by me. You understand that? You know, feel me? And I used to bump all this shit off. I had the Swarm joint, Killer B Swarm album, the Killer Army joints, you know, feel me, whatever I can get with that Wu symbol on there, you understand me, even if I ain't like it, I still supported it, anyway, you know what I mean, so you gotta backpedal when you say shit like that, because you know, Wu is worldwide and shit and forever, so niggas will be on your ass everywhere you go, you be thinking that shit did or cause you don't see none of the main Wu niggas and get, you know, feel me, niggas will try to get at you and all that shit, not saying no, you and them ain't ready for the bullshit, but I'm just saying, like, why go through it? If you really ain't mean that shit. So, no, he being a real nigga, he apologized and shit. You know, niggas mad. So, niggas be like, all right, that's cool, you apologize. But, nigga, we want you to do it on the same platform, face-to-face, you to feel me, publicly. You dig? So, I seen that he reached out to Shaheem and shit. And, you to feel me, um, a couple, uh, a couple woo niggas and shit. A couple, um. Sons of Man guys and Killer Army guys and shit and Shaheem and he invited Shaheem and them niggas to the motherfucking uh, drink champs and shit. So let's see what happened with that. But you know here on WTF News, we always give you the motherfucking actual factual. So you know my model. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Raekwon is like a woo, a real woo Gambino boss. It feels like he's sitting in a motherfucking throne mm-hmm. and he's like, look, I could put this shit out tomorrow. What I really want you to do is apologize. Because if you don't apologize, I'm going to break Mickey Fax's legs. Right? Oh, my God. Do you remember that? I don't remember that part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go ahead, He's like, listen, we're go, we going to break Mickey Fax's legs if you don't fucking apologize. So, Joe apologizes. And then these niggas just get up and walk out the motherfucking room. To the whole Wu-Tang Clan. But let me just tell you something. He had to apologize to Sons of Man. <laughs> you know the flunky. Yeah. Like, you know, the niggas that don't even exist. They was like, shout out to him, too. Shaheen the rookie child. Shaheen? Kill all me. Kill all me. Niggas get drunk. Niggas get drunk and run their mouth. And don't know what you talking about. I ain't never been nobody's flunky or, or non-existent. I'm the true and living God. I'm in the present time, nigga. Fuck out of here. Flunky, nigga. I'm Shaheen, nigga. And my albums was better than your albums, nigga. Fuck out of here. Go against my killer bees then, nigga. Niggas always trying to separate the W like like the clan was the only people that put on for the W. Sons of Man, Killer Army, Shaheen, uh, Royal Fam, Wu Seneca, a lot of Dark Man. We put on two for the W, you know? In 0.1. Hey, yo, Norby, man. Let me tell you a fat ass something, B. Keep the God's name out of your motherfucking fat mouth, B. All right? You way out of line making that comment you made on your motherfucking whack ass drink champ show. You know what I'm saying? What up, man? Yo, we don't play that shit, B. Straight up and down, man. You know what I'm saying? Drinking too much of that liquor, you wildin' out, B. You know what I'm saying? Like the just said on Duel of the Iron Mike, I beat that whiskey in your liver. Fucking shit up, nigga. All right? Don't fuck, don't play, B. You know what I'm saying? We, we, you know what I'm saying? We the gods, B. We, we ain't with the bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? I thought you already even knew this, though. You know what I'm saying? What up, man? Why you got me on some other shit right now, B? You know what I'm saying? My name is motherfucking Knuckles, nigga. Knuckles, all right, nigga? Yo, that Supreme Clientele skit, nigga, on Ghostface Killer album, nigga. Yeah, that was me talking, nigga. Knuckles, nigga. I put the work in, nigga. All right? Knock your fucking ass out, B. Don't play, man. 
Shit ain't a fucking game, B. All right? What up, man? You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers getting out of line talking that dumb shit, B. None of your albums can fuck with any of the motherfucking Killer Army albums, nigga. All right? What well, up? You know, you had that War Report joint and all that. You know what I'm saying? That shit ain't fucking with motherfucking Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars, Dirty Weaponry, Fear, Love, and War, Full Metal Jackets album. None of them Killer Army joints. None of the Sons of Man joints. None of them Shaheen joints. You know what I'm saying, G? Yo, G, you, wait, you out of line, Pa. You know what I'm saying? Got me I'm dressed in all motherfucking red right now, G. Shit might get bloody about this motherfucker, B. And I ain't in no motherfucking game, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the Wu-Tang Killer Bees, nigga. We the motherfucking Yankees. You see what those shirts say, nigga? All right? We the motherfucking Yankees of this hip-hop shit. Making that raw motherfucking hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? That, that bang your head shit. That lyrical chop your motherfucking head off shit. All that good shit, B. You know what I'm saying? Yo, man. You disrespectful on that, man. You know what I mean? You better apologize or something, B. You know what I'm saying? Let me get back to work, man. To my knowledge, and y'all could correct me if I'm wrong, but the Drink Champs mantra I heard on numerous occasions, numerous episodes, uh, Nori saying that it's a place where he wants to give legends their flowers um, that been in the game 10 years and better or what have you, right? And um, let me just take note that, for those who don't know, that um, Killer Army shared the billboard with our debut album alongside CNN in 97. We both debuted with our group's album, and uh, we was both sharing the Billboard Top 10, you know. Kill Army came in 10, they came in 4, you know. You know, we had no we, little to no promotion. We was just coming with raw talent. The videos weren't getting played. The, the, the records really weren't getting played. We was too fucking hardcore, to put it in a nutshell. You know what I mean? They had a little commercial splash a little bit with them, and they had the label was, I guess, breaking the bank on them to get them out there. We didn't really need too much, and we did our numbers. All right, we start with that. These are all facts, y'all could go research it. You know what I mean? Kill Army cracked the top 10 billboard, 97, and uh, CNN was number four. We was 10, cracked the billboard. That's an accomplishment all by itself. A mantra that you give legends their flowers, but yet you up there looking goofy, drinking, talking shit about cats. That's fellow MCs from New York, but you shitting on them. But you came in the game at the same time. Both New York cats, underground cats, spitting this militant shit. I'm a little twisted with that, right? Um, then the whole thing was he's joking on Joe Buttons for getting punched in his mouth for talking shit about Wu Brothers and does it on his show on the same breath. So I'm confused with that too. Like you just didn't, you just, you just pointed out how brother got punched in his mouth for talking shit about the Wu fam. Confusing. I think, you know, when I seen Nori doing his shit, man, I was like, yo, man, I was proud. I was like, yo, he found a, a second uh, breath of air, another lane, because, you know, the music, you know, he wasn't doing much with the music, and I was like, ah, right. he's getting a little rhythm, catching some traction with this shit. That's dope, man. It's dope for hip-hop. I was like, you know, saluting the brother. So, like, to get this kind of shit, like, to hear that come out of niggas' mouth, man, it's like, I think dudes get it confused. They, they you know, it's about numbers, or they, they you know, they, they get into a little position, and now all of a sudden they better than you. See, that's the thing with New York rappers, man. I say it all the time. It's like, we feature and we get a little bit like down south and all of them. They bundle up. They get they feature with each other. They show love. It's a, it's a big family out there. You know what I mean? Out in New York, everybody, you know, shitting on everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Um, It's just like, this shit is crazy, right? So then, um... The, the Mickey uh, Fax Cat, it's like, what, 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 what business you got even saying Killer Army's name out your mouth, bro? Like, real talk. I know you apologize, and that's cool, you know? Um, I'm going to let that sink in, and I'm going to absorb that, you know what I mean? But, come on, bro. I think I heard that you said that, you you know, Killer Army's one of your favorite groups, and I was like, why? The? You didn't even have to say it. So I'm going to make another post after the uh, Drink Champs episode when they patch it up. Hopefully everything can get patched up and let bygones be bygones. Y'all know we all heard it from WTF News on Shizzy Lit Podcast. Don't forget to follow me on all the social media, Shizzy Lit Podcast across the board and all the streaming platforms. Shizzy Lit Podcast, of course, and Stealth Bomb Company if you want to hear that banging music. You understand me? I'm out. Yo, 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 it's your boy OG Shizzy Brills and everybody go check out 
Shizzy Lit Podcast on Spreaker.com if you want to rock with your boy when he go live. But you can also catch me on any of your favorite streaming platforms. I'm everywhere, baby. Shizzy Lit Podcast, Shizzy Lit Vlogcast 2021. Holla at me. Yeah, dig.